when you are making an acceleration, you're putting energy into your movement. And when you want to brake, you're releasing the energy. Welcome to this episode of My Nissan Electric. One of the reasons why an electric car is so efficient is because the car is using the braking energy to charge the battery. In a normal car, when you press the brake pedal, the braking energy is just evaporating like heat. But when braking with my leaf, the motor is switching to become a generator. Isn't it great that the car can use the braking energy and put the electricity back into the battery? But the question that comes up now is, does the electric car don't have any normal brakes? Yes, of course it has, but it's only used when it's necessary, when the car is not able to catch all the energy that is released from the braking. Regenerating braking system is nothing new. There has been system for many many years, for example in buses and in trains. They use the braking energy to produce electricity to push back into the electric system that they are using. But back to the electric car. But how does it work when the battery is full? Well, the regenerating system will not work and the normal brakes will be applied. The Nissan Leaf has two moods. It has the normal drive mood and the B or so-called braking mood. When using the braking mood, the car automatically brakes soon as you release the gas pedal. And but it's not using the normal brakes, it's using the regenerating braking system. That is to maximize the power that can come back to the battery and also when uh, uh, using this system I would say that you have a kind of one paddle driving system which is quite comfortable and enjoying to use. In general you're using just the uh, gas pedal and use it as a brake pulling the uh, gas pedal up a little bit when you want to brake and press it down when you want to drive quicker and if you drive very carefully, you only need to use the normal braking paddle in an emergency. But using this braking mood have different characteristics depending on how the car can receive the braking energy. For example, when the battery is full, you will have none or very little braking effect using the braking mood. The car's way of telling you how much braking effect you have using the braking mood from the regenerating braking system is by those rings. As you can see, the rings are not double. That's because the battery is completely full and there is no place to put any braking energy into the battery. But after driving half a kilometer and the battery has been emptied a little bit, suddenly there is some place to store braking energy and you have a little braking effect while driving in the braking mode. 
But how much is actually the car gaining from this braking energy? Here an example, during this month I was driving 1885 kilometers. To be able to drive this distance I needed to charge 271 kilowatt hour. But the car consumed full 317 kilowatt hours. That means that I regained from the regenerating braking system the full 46 kilowatt hours. That's quite a lot. One last observation is that when using the braking mode and regenerating braking occur without pressing the braking paddle, the back braking lights is not applied. That's a little bit strange. On the next episode of shh, 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 listen, listen. Can you hear the car? Something that we as an electric car owner loves. Hear, understand and be more alert. Next time we will focus on the noise and sound from the car. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it.